Hello, hello once again, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Zettel20, and I am sat alongside the one and only Yorkshire Tea. Good morning. It's afternoon tea oh, by a few minutes. Oh, for, don't, don't quibble. I'm not in the mood for quibbling today. <laughs> I'm not in the mood for quibbling either because I'm going to ruin this boss. I'm furious with it. Do you think maybe it's a legitimate strategy on the part of the developers to make to make you feel justified? In what, just so, quitting the game? No, no. To, so that you kill this boss in a utterly gleeful, almost sadistic way that you're glad you're killing this thing maybe you rejoice in its death because it's so irritating that will be pretty awesome actually if that's actually their intent i uh, mean it could also just be it could slightly just... wonky no 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 maybe not wonky but iffy game design let's say like a, a little bit the jumping's a little bit weird you know it's a little bit out there it doesn't quite work with the camera angles whether they are yeah. still we're here on my way, by the way, I found another... I found a lizard yeah. with a glowing tail that I killed. And I took its leg. I thought we established that glowing tails do nothing. No, no, no. Normal tails do nothing. Glowing tails do... No, I thought it was the white... No, glowing tails don't do anything. The white tails. No, it was a it was a bright blue glowing lizard. Oh, right. Okay, so... And you're definitely sure... It definitely increased my stamina when I killed it. That fraction of stamina may be the deciding factor between us it... beating this game or pile driving this gosh darn PS4 into a thousand splinters of plastic. Oh god, maybe. Also, also, I found another like glowy thingy. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, I saw that. I was going to mention that to you, but I thought. Oh uh, yeah, I found another glowy thingy on the way up to the Colossus. I could see you already getting pretty irked. No, no, it was not like on. It was on the way to the Colossus, not. Oh yeah. Oh, oh I know. I know, but. It's... This was after you'd been killed about sort of four or five times oh, no, by homing this was lasers. Before the homing lasers. This was before the homing then lasers. I found another one, yeah. Oh, I thought, oh, okay, because I'm pretty sure there's one in the in the trenches that we found. Oh, yeah, there might be one in the trenches, yeah. like, on that thing, but I couldn't be bothered with it. Do we even know what they do? No, no idea. Does anyone know what they do? Mm. People in the thread have mentioned them, I think. Super secret ending, which Agro comes back to life. Oh, that'd be great, as wouldn't a zombie it? Horse. As, like, the hell steed of Hades. Oh, that sounds very metal. Oh, we're pretty amazing, too, though. Too, too, too metal for this game. You ready to try and murder this boss? No. But we're Neither do am it I. Anyway. All right. So we've established what we need to do. We know what it is that we've got to do. Yeah, yeah. We know exactly what we need to do. We just need to execute. Which you know, easier said than done, but still. So is he actually is he actually bound by it doesn't look like he's bound by this does it he doesn't look like he's got functioning legs that's the thing right uh, it doesn't look that's like true actually <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell I mean I mean is this like a ceremonial dress or I don't know like maybe the Colossi were constructed, right? And this is actually just uh, the scaffolding for it. I like that. This is... Actually that's, a... actually, that's a pretty cool theory. Yeah, if this was, like, the most advanced one, but he wasn't finished. Yeah. Because, I mean, none of the Colossi that we have encountered so far, like, the actual Colossi, have got... You see, like you know, like these railings. Yeah, I know what you the mean. Chains. Like, that's not the kind of the like, you know, you know, the design, the architecture that we've, you know, the obviously they're part constructs, the colossi, but those elements we haven't seen on before. So yeah, maybe this is a final colossus, the pinnacle of colossi design, colossi weapons research. Yeah. What? Well they were designed to be weapons, they're pretty ineffective weapons, to be honest. Maybe that's... Yeah, because... Because can you see, like, un, like, you know, in the middle, the skit, you know, there's all that glowing yellow stuff. Yeah. Which, I don't know, I mean, maybe, maybe that's a sign that it's unfinished. Ow. 
Go back. For God's sake. Oh, for... Okay, remember that. Patience. I'm just going to stab us back here. Yeah. Good man. Yes, voice we know. Is that I mean, there's nothing to suggest that this colossi is like a ringleader or a, sort of a chief of colossi. It's just. Well, having said that, I mean, obviously, it's clearly a special colossus because we could not even get here until we had destroyed all the other colossi. Yeah, that's like, true. There's that security measure in place. Is there any way, is there any... This is my secret way of regenerating all my stamina. And then falling off because, you know, fine game. It's just... Oh. That you have to even do something as weird as that to try and get your stamina back is so ridiculous. Should I got more lizards? I mean, probably, yeah, but like... I can't say I'm happy with, like, you have to kind of glitch out where you're standing to be able to deal with the boss fight. What? Alright, that's completely new. Sure, okay. Fine. Let's try this again. I, I just want this thing to die. I, I don't care anymore. I don't care about the philosophy. I just want it dead. Yeah, I think I'm with you on this. I, I just want its head, you know, on my living room wall. I mean, you have to have a very, very, very big living room. Yeah, we'll make the body into the living room, and then we'll put, like, the head in on the inside. We could make a... We could hollow it out, and, you know, turn it into a mobile fortress. Oh, I'm up for that. You can tell I've just beaten Alexander in FF14 now. <laughs> no, 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 no. Ah, right, okay, yep. That was super weird, I think it was because you were just clipping enough, like, the... Other bit wasn't overlapping that. Yeah, yeah. Quite enough. Well, that's a fun thing that we found out today, isn't it? God damn it, mate! I'm not even taking you that close to the damn edge. Patience. Got okay, it. right. Up we go. Oh god damn it, game! Goodness. God frigging damn it, come on! We're like, you know, when we, we started this recording, we're like, this can't take that long, can it? And I'm now wondering if it's going to take like 15 goddamn hours for me to get this right. It can't be a fatigue thing. No, it's not. Because right? we're, yeah. It's just, the jumps are weird. Uh, interesting. Yeah, I'll take that. Also, oh, the camera angles don't really help. That's being honest. Okay, do not for the love of... Like, because the problem is, right here, that because its hand moves around the way that it does... Is there any way to get it flat? 
No, unless you repeatedly stab it. We run, we run, we run, we run! Okay. Okay, just, okay, I think at this point, just jump on, just jump on. Okay, stab it. We can regenerate stamina once we're on the... Okay. Come on, 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 by the way, what I'm doing is I'm literally just mashing X in the opposite direction. Okay, so we know what we've got to do here. Unfortunately, yep. it's really horribly finicky. We've got to climb up onto... I think it's got to be the back of the hand, surely. Because... This... Okay, now... Arrow, 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 quickly, quickly, quickly. Yep. Go. I'll jump for the... <sighs> okay, here we are. This is it. This is the final bit. I'm just gonna redirect as much time as I can. Oh my god, game, let me jump on him! Jesus Christ, you would think it shouldn't be this difficult. See, that's what happened last time, right? Okay, don't get too far. Try not to get too far forward. Yeah. Oh my god, right flank. There we go. Okay. How much health did we manage to take off last time? Almost all of it. We needed one more hit. Frigging die, you sack of garbage! Stop whining and let me stab you. I am going to have a party on your head. if it managed to catch you as you were falling in the air. <laughs> hey corpse, come back! No, 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 no! We need to do all the black tendril stuff. Oh yeah, these guys. Took you long enough, guys. Seriously. We're here to help. They have crossbows? Oh. Frigging advanced there. Oh no, what's happened?
Ah, fool, he has unleashed the apocalypse. He has unleashed the demons. Let me guess, the voice belongs to some evil god or goddess, and now uh, the revived... and now its spirit is using this poor girl as some sort of vessel, and uh, that's the end of the world. I, I would bet... Uh, I would suggest that is a hard yes, probably. What, we didn't get teleported back? What a jib! <laughs> Randy's all like, what's the point now? Oh wait, he's dead! Hooray! Oh, he is dead, look at him. Oh no, he's moving. Something, something. My soul in exchange for hers. Maybe. Maybe he just gets to be with her in the afterlife, you know? What a twist. Oh, Randy. You've survived falling off like multiple colossi at this point. You get done in by an arrow to the knee, seriously. Sucks to be you, Randy. We all saw this coming, though. Oh, that ain't good. Uh -oh. oh, I mean, you stand him in the shoulder. Of course it's not gonna kill him. It's kinda like where the heart is though, right? Yeah, what? No. No, that's, well... No. It's clearly going through his body, well, yeah, through his heart, right? No, 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 that's, no, that's just a bit more... No, it's not... Guess he becomes a new Colossus or something? Maybe. Uh, 
Better kill her too, just be on the safe side. Yeah, I would. I would. Huh. Okay, right, well, that's new. Oh nice, okay, right, so this is the final boss. Boom! And again, and again, and again, and again. Okay, okay, I'm... Um... Oh, they've got the sword! The sword of revealing light. But, nah, I mean, what's a good end here? The one where I smash all of them. Nah, the good end is clearly where we let them kill us. Right, well, who are the, who's shooting at me? Let's see if I can give him a boot. Look. Yes! Direct hit. Smoosh. God damn it, how do they keep moving? Much harder. I'm trying, but they keep running away. Is that as, is that as fast as you can actually run? I think so. God, like, why is this guy a threat? <laughs> Just run away from him. Maybe... Maybe we were never meant to win. Yeah, maybe not. Is this game over, or what? No, apparently it's just another cutscene. Oh, unless it was met like... You've just got to pummel them until they run away, at which point you can't catch them. That would be true, probably. No! God damn it! Every time I get eternal power... Damn it, grab onto something. 
keep falling to the left. We might get to the wall. Haha! You're a genius. No! It's pulling me around, I'm not grabbing on. No. Can we climb up the steps? I'm trying. Climb down the steps. No, vague to find love interest. No! We were so close. No, I want to get aggro back, goddammit. No. God damn it, no. No. I will grab onto every single step in defiance of this. I wasn't savvy enough. No. Well, I guess now we know why this place has, like, no, you know, habitations or anything. Just the entire place is just mega cursed. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That, that one guy at the back, he might be in trouble. No, aggro two! I mean, if they could have done that, why did they seal him by splitting him up into 16 to begin with? Well, who knows, maybe... The Colossi now are going to, like, pop back up again and be like... We're back, guys. Or maybe she wakes up and then it's all like... She then goes full Shadow of the Colossus. Then we have to play the entire game all over again. Yes, as her. Who was this girl? Seriously. Oh, she's waking up! Ah, what a lovely nap. And in the end, our hero got exactly what he wanted. Exactly. A girl who's going to starve because this region doesn't have very much food beyond fruit. Yes. Gonna go mad from the isolation of being the only human on this entire continent. Yeah, but you know, she's got birds. That's true. Bird bros. Chris back. Oh, it's... He's, he's feeling a little bit stiff, but otherwise he's alright. Agro, how on earth did you manage that? I am, I'm beyond pleased. Sod Randy, yeah. Agro is good, and Agro is alive at the end, everything's okay. Well, I mean, unless Agro now, because he's lame, I mean, you know generally what happens to horses if they're... Uh, oh, she's not going to shoot him. No, actually, no. He seems fine. Oh. Hooray! Good ending. Yeah. Happy ending. Exactly, right?
And that was Shadow of the Colossus, I think. Yeah. What ah. do you think of the game, T? Ah, so look, so what, these are the remains, the decaying remains for the Colossus, I guess. Yeah, if you remember, we found some earlier. When we actually oh, went back yes, to the lake. Oh, yes, we right? did, didn't we? Uh... So yeah, what do you think of Shadow of the Colossus, T? Oh. Um. I mean, if I'm going to be brutally honest, perhaps not quite. Perhaps I don't have quite the same impact on me that I was expecting it might. I think possibly that's just because we're playing through it, you know, two people at the same time, and we're all slightly riffing on it, and we're not allowing us to get. We're not allowing ourselves to get perhaps as absorbed in it as we might. Otherwise, if we were playing by ourselves, I think. It's kind of hard to be all super serious and get really emotionally invested if you've got, you know, two dudes. Just, you know, wisecracking. Um, maybe this isn't a good game to LP, especially with commentary, because it's maybe a bit more of an intensely personal, you know, you know, game to experience. I mean, personal quibbles about not the way we play the game, but the game itself. I'd say the puzzles... I don't think the most of the puzzles probably weren't actually that hard to figure out, and once we figured out how to do it, it was simply just a matter of doing it, and the only thing that really prevented us from completing it was just slightly wonky, slightly wonky, slightly, slightly wonky controls and um, camera angles that were perhaps not. Released. Okay, the controls and the camera angles didn't quite marry up in the same way. Yeah, I think so. And, I mean, other quibbles, um, yeah, yeah, I'd say the music is, the, the music has been quite good, although I would have preferred it if perhaps more of the Colossi had had, or at least each of the Colossi had had their own separate themes. I would have really liked that. Yeah, I think that that's be... possibly missing. Because yeah. I feel like the Colossi have their own individual like kind of personalities that they show through gameplay. Yeah. But I think it would have been significantly enhanced if, they if they'd had individual things. music or that kind of stuff and individual themes. I just don't feel they did. Um, I broadly agree with your assessment, by the way. I think that the LP format here probably serves to detract from the game rather than to enhance it. Yeah. Um, で、ゆうらゆ。これでゆうゆうらかや。ほら、もう切る。いざ、よりうりるぞ。行くぞ、エディコエリキクアロアとかえ。So, where the game did well, I think, is even through the LP format detracting from it, like, the impact of, for example, aggro falling off the cliff yeah. was still very, very significant. I think that was actually a very, very good decision to make about how serious this game was actually yeah. becoming. Uh, and there's a lot there that I really do like. Uh-oh. Uh aggro is all like, hey, you know what? I have a great idea. I was like, kill the baby! Oh, it's got demon horns as well. Look at that. I mean, come on, it's got demon horns on it. They never learn. God damn it, every time. Agro, what are you doing? Agro's had enough. Also, he doesn't know the bridge is out. He doesn't know the bridge is So he's going to have a really, really irritating discovery when he gets up there and finds, oh god, now I've got to go all the way back down again. Oh, on this lame leg, Jesus Christ. Yeah. 
So, and it has really, really good gameplay moments as well, right? So, a lot of the times when I, you know, the for example, Bird Losses was a revelation in terms of just a really, really cool fight. Yeah. And, you know, jumping uh, between the limbs of the Colossus, for example, was a really, really good feeling as well. Um, I actually don't think they capitalized enough on that kind of movement. On, you know, movement... Hmm. The, the kind of movement they had between two planes. And yeah. where they did, they did it on the final fight. Yeah. And yeah. they did it in such a way that it was basically near impossible to make that jump work. Yeah. I think... That, I mean, the... the yeah, like I said, I mean, the puzzles were pretty straightforward for the most part. And there were some very, very exciting bits. But I don't think... This is at the top of the shrine. Oh. Huh. Were there even stairs going all the way up here? I think there were, but we they were just to the left of the entrance. Oh, maybe we just never saw them. Hooray! Forms. Or anything. Birds. She's actually Snow White. I don't that. Oh shit. No way to just realize who this thing is. Ah! Is that one of the birds that was following us earlier? Yeah, I think this might be the bird that's been following us the entire time. I was all like, well, my role as observer has been fulfilled. I have borne witness to another tragic chapter in this world's blighted history. Spoilers, so, so it was, yes, it was just, just... Yours was just another day in the life of a ambiguously defined immortal bird observer spirit. Yeah, clearly. With some unusually upbeat ending music. Seriously, what is this? <laughs> yeah. A note on the music, actually. I know um, there's a, perhaps you know, just the overall tone of the story, like. No, this is a game, you know, from well, quite a long time ago. But um, there were a few moments when I felt it was perhaps a little bit on the nose, like... What do you mean? Well, just in terms of... Ah, and here it comes, full circle. Um, you know, where, you know, you know, the music and, you know, perhaps the story beats... I mean, I don't want to use the term mawkish, but you could tell it. There's a few moments where it got a little bit sentimental. You know, in a, yeah. you know, in a sense of like you are clearly supposed to feel bad or you know, or sad here. Yeah, that's Which true. Which are little bits. I'm not going to say emotionally manip manipulative because I mean, th I mean, this is, you know, you know. You know correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, may maybe displaying my lack of knowledge, you know, of games at this point. Um, or at least the you know earlier stuff, but I mean this was one of the first, or one of the early ones, you know of the three D generation, you know the three D era video games to try and do what it was doing. So I can forgive it for being quite rough around the edges, or perhaps even a bit crude by stand, you know by perhaps modern standards in just in terms of its storytelling. So. Perhaps, you know, I mean, yeah, I mean, yes, it was perhaps subtle. Some parts of the story were subtle. 
bit too subtle, but other parts were perhaps not subtle enough. Oh look, don't get the bird to try and recount everything that's happened again. I just kept continue to see what would happen. Well now it was it's now that we can Oh, it's just firing up a new game plus, I imagine. Yeah. Yeah, alright. Poor Randy. He knew. So there's a shooting game whose name I can't remember for the life of me right now. Yeah. It's very, very annoying. Um because it's of an excellent shooting game, uh, where through the game you get condemned more and more and more for conti continuing to kill people, right? Isn't that spec up to the line? That is. Yeah. Um, I think this game is very, very similar to it. I think spec ops the line in this game mm -hmm. are very similar in what they're attempting to do, which is both games are meant to be making you consistently, critically think about what you're doing and whether you can keep on, whether you should keep on doing it, right? Yeah. Spec Ops ends up being very, very on... I think both games are actually very, very on the nose about why are you doing this? This makes no sense, right? Yeah. Uh, and I think that the criticism that was leveled at Spec Ops at the time when I played it was, well, you don't have an option to leave. The only thing you can do is continue to play the game, right? Yeah. Otherwise, you don't get anything. So this isn't the same decision that's being presented to the player as the developers are presenting to the soldiers, right? You've always got a choice, haven't you? You can always just never play the game. Right, but that deprives <laughs> know, you of like, the consequences of yeah. choosing to walk away, right? And seeing what those consequences are. In the same way, right? Shadow of the Colossus goes, you should feel bad for killing these colossi. You know you're being duped. Like We knew we were being duped inside the first two colossi, I'm pretty sure, yeah. right? We knew from, like, the start we were being duped by this. We were like, this but is But I ridiculous. wonder, I mean, is that just because we've just played a lot of stuff, you know, in the intervening years, where it's clearly like, you are being manipulated? No, I, I think, like, even at release, we probably would have figured out, you know, four or five class I am, that yeah. there's something wrong. You know, that you were manipulated all along isn't a new trope, right? No. Like, the usual suspects does it, right? You're, the audience is being manipulated in that story the entire way. That's not new. Um, and so, because of that, because the game then doesn't go, you, can you walk away from this? Or doesn't let you walk away from it. I think the continued murder of the Colossi is not that sad. <laughs> like, yeah. You almost feel, you almost feel like, sometimes, I mean, perhaps not with this one, but there are certain times where, you know, I, and actually, this is probably something I, a criticism I level at Nier, actually, the original Nier, and perhaps Nier Automata as well, where it's so obvious that you're meant to feel bad or feel sad, you know, for what you're doing at any one point. You almost feel resentful for being so obvious, you know, for the game being so obviously trying to emotionally, emotionally, you know, order you about, emotionally direct you, that you kind of think, actually, you know what? Actually, I don't really care. I, you know, I enjoy seeing, you know, all these, you know, all these, you know, you know, innocent, you know, you know, characters, you know, actually get, you know, you know, something terrible. So I think it's different. With Nier, I think it's different because it's 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 almost like you know something terrible is going to happen. It's almost comical in just how things are just going to get worse. So it loses the impact. But that's another discussion. In Nier Automata, I think. This is why I think those game, well, that game specifically. I've never played the original Nier, so I don't know. Uh, I think that game is different because the character perspective is one where the choices and the terrible things that happen are forced upon you by external events, right? You're not the one making them happen. And that's different to here where you are actively forcing the terrible events to happen, right? Like, that's true. I think with this one, I think I almost feel... Well, sorry. I mean, okay. I would. I, I guess perhaps I would have. I, it's 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 hard to sympathise with Randy or whatever his actual official name is, because he's almost you know there's no real personality to him. You know, he's basically just a, a naive fool who read some prophecy about this. You know, in this cursed land, there is you know a shrine with a voice who can fulfil any desire you want as long as you've got this sword. You know, he goes there and whoops a daisy. Turns out he was being manipulated. Exactly. So, you know, you should re always read all of the prophecy. 
So it's kind of hard to sympathise with him, but at the same time, it's kind of hard to dislike him because his only crime is just that he's just a naive person in a world where it, clearly it's like, well, perhaps it's quite easy to be naive. I mean, you know, he could just be like, you know, some random, like, you know, peasant boy or you know, a random squire who's just, you know, perhaps, you know, he's not super, super well educated, you know, he hasn't got all the facts. He's just a fairly middling nobody. Yeah. Whereas in Neo Automata, like, you know, you've got all the information and it, it gets to the point where all the characters are like, yeah, I, you know, you know, they get actively given all the facts of like, you know, you know, this is probably not a great idea or, you know, this is a terrible thing to do. And they're just like, yeah, shut up, I don't care. So it's actually, that's what, personally, that's why actually I have, you know, very little sympathy for any of the characters in Neo or Neo Automata because, you know, they're just a bunch of almost bloody minded, you know, so and so's who bring it upon themselves. Okay. Who cares if they all die in the end? <laughs> and I think. As a reasonable way to conclude this LP. Yeah. I, but anyway, Randy I mean, was naive. We don't mind him. Yeah. I mean, and quite frankly, I mean, the, I mean, the main thing is that, that you know, Agro survived. Agro survived, so it's all good. Exactly. You know, he's got, you know, a small little deer buddy. Yeah. You know, he's got a shrine. Scrolls. Observer Bird has, you know, completed its semi-divine duties. It's now going to go off and probably, I think Eco is meant to be a sequel to this several hundred or unspecified period of time later so probably a bird in that now we'll come on to play just to see if there is a bird oh, that would be um, good I would like to see the bird now I have to play The Last Guardian see if there is a similar bird in that oh maybe the birds are like the bird binds it all together the birds orchestrate all of this you no, know no no no, 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 no the birds never orchestrate they would just observe <laughs> anyway I mean we've leveled some what I would say I'd probably okay I mean you know these are, these are criticisms at a game that is what 17, 18 years old I think at the time, I can see actually this is this 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 would have been something quite revolutionary. You can see the influence it's had in games. You can see the marriage of gameplay to cinematography. I think yep. that's probably you know the best way to put it. You know, a, a, you know, a, you know, it's kind of like a an attempt to marry music, gameplay, the you know, the, you know, the camera, but well, well, yes, yeah, you know, the cinematography um, to everything and the art design in one cohesive work to produce a emotional response in the player. And I think it does that. I think perhaps now we nowadays, perhaps we're just too genre savvy, perhaps we're too old, you know, or perhaps, you know, other games have just done it, you know, in more subtle or better ways. Perhaps it's a bit crude by today's standards. But I think for the time, this would have been an impressive work and something, and I think genuinely, something new. And which clearly succeeded because, yeah, like I said, you can see the impact it's had on games of all genres since then. So I think for all the, like, especially in the last boss fight and from then, the fairly harsh criticism, that I put on the game for certain controls, all that kind of stuff. I did very much enjoy playing it. Uh, especially, I think with the earlier fights, for a long, long time, I was just loving moving around the Colossi, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Eventually I got used to it, and perhaps a lot of the impact of that uh, dulled over time, but that doesn't mean that it wasn't a great impact and a great way to play. Just from the perspective of, like, crawling over those things, trying to figure out the puzzles behind them. Mm. Even if the puzzles were relatively easy, I still think that figuring them out and then executing them was a satisfying thing to do a lot of the time. Yeah. Uh, and, and often it makes you feel quite smart, even though, like, they're quite easy to begin with and you realise afterwards that they're not. Uh, so at least from a gameplay perspective, I think the game is doing good work. There are things it needs to iron, like, it needed to iron out. Uh, mainly based around the camera, but I think that is forgivable given the scope of what it was trying to achieve with its gameplay as well. Yeah. Uh, and I, I think genuinely this is a very, very good game that I would recommend to basically anybody. It's also a very good um, remaster, I've got to say, actually. Yeah. I mean, especially the, well, the hair. The hair in the, 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 hair in the fur on the Colossi is really, really amazing. Just, I mean, just how hard it is you know, to accurately model that stuff. It's, it, it genuinely looks pretty good. Yeah, I'd love to see this running on a PS4 Pro at some point. Yeah. Or on... Uh, 
you can't get it on PC, but I'd love to see how it ran on my PC, for example. That'd be a great thing to watch. I think actually, and one thing I haven't, okay, one thing I haven't mentioned today, but I know I've mentioned it ad nauseam before this, um, is I love the environmental art design. The environmental art design is just amazing. Yes, it's great, excellent. and I absolutely love the forests. Oh yeah, some they're the, all beautiful. Some, some of the best for us. I love, I love the trees in this game. I love the trees, and I love the water, and the way that they've actually modelled light in this game is really, really impressive. I don't know, I'll, I'll have to go back and see the original to see how they pulled it off there, but I could honestly... Because I haven't actually picked up the controller once during this LP, I kind of want to go now and just amble around on my horse, just admiring the... That will be very, very interesting to do, I'm sure. And with that, I think we're done. Yeah. We have one bonus episode for you after this, guys. We're going to watch a speedrun of this... Uh, not of the entire game. We're going to watch a speedrun of the buses and see how they're tackled one by one. Uh, and hopefully... Uh, we will be struck with how ridiculous things can get in this game. Yeah, I mean, if the final boss is, is beaten within like you know a minute and a half, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, you know, who, who, who knows? I mean, it might be that Nat was just absolutely terrible in every possible way. Total pudding fingers. So we've got about a month now after this LP. Uh, we'll be taking another break, and then we'll be coming back again. We're not sure what with yet. Uh, we were I thinking about all that to that. We were thinking Warcraft Three Reforged, but unfortunately, Blizzard decided to be very, very evil in the past month, and so I'm not sure I want to give them that oxygen. So we're we're going to have a bit of think of it about it. We'll probably put it to the thread. Uh, I, I've got the idea of maybe me doing Super Metroid Blind. I've got the idea of potentially taking on the uh, new ukulele game. Uh, all of these things are things that we could do, uh, but for now, we're signing off. Thank you very much for watching, and we will catch you all uh, in the bonus episode. It's been a pleasure, folks.